we're going to look at how you can connect your virtual pro classes to your rock lex running beside steam os it's only going to work in desktop mode so don't expect any gaming with head tracked but this is a very simple solution to just have an extended virtual display like a kind of a real monitor where you can work on and don't expect any like too much performance but it has very little dependency so you just install the app and that's it so let's look at we are have using the Vitro pro xr glasses so not the latest stuff but pretty decent we're going to use a bluetooth keyboard with mouse and the rock lex running beside um, steam os uh, switch to desktop mode Search for virtual virtual display, which will bring you to the GitHub repository. You can compile it yourself, uh, but you don't need to. Under releases, you will find two executables. One is an app image, which you can use on regular Linux desktops like Ubuntu, um, Debian, Mint, whatever. And um, you will find an executable which is specifically for the ROG LEX or specifically for Bezite. And you would only need to download that, open up your shell, make it executable. So just let me put it up here so you can actually see the screen as well. But it should be shown from the recording. So let's run it see if it works. Uh, we're going to run a test pad on first, which does absolutely nothing except for showing a simple plane. Okay, it works. So all dependencies are met. Wait, wait, wait. Once you connected the display glasses, you're going to start this app on the second display, which is shown inside your glasses. And it will run a full screen view and it will do a screen casting from your first desktop to your second one and show that on a head tracked um, virtual monitor. This can be a plane or it can be a curved monitor. And uh, the benefit here is it's like has absolutely no dependencies. You don't need to install anything. You don't need to a separate desktop environment or anything. You can just run this app. Uh, obviously, it will have performance impact. It will not be as fast as something that is running natively. But for like something on the go working little monitor, it's really fine. The problem now is uh, when we connect virtual glasses, we don't have any permissions to actually access the IMU data. So if we connect it, it's already running. So it's running a second, second desktop, a uh, second screen. Well, there's nothing on it. I've set it up so that the screen is to the right of the of the current display, but you can do it whatever you want. If we run it now with Viture, which will would show the test pattern and would be tracked to the glasses, but it doesn't work because we got permission errors since the device can't be opened. You can work around that by just change mode A plus RWX and on all your USB devices, which is probably not the smartest thing to do. Or we can install UDEV rules that will automatically give your user permissions to the glasses when they connect. And we don't actually need to find them because the app can do that. So if you launch it with install UDEV rules, this would install UDEV rules, but doesn't because we currently aren't, aren't root. So you actually have to launch this sudo. UDEV rules are now installed. Um, we have to trigger them to be reloaded to actually work. So just copy that command line. It gives you and execute that as well. So now it's working. When, when we launch it now, it should be actually already tracking the head. So we can see if I'm moving the glasses now, the plane is moving. 
if you move your head quickly left and right, it will recenter. So that's a nice thing. Uh, the, the display will start to drift after a few minutes. And if you look straight and just do like a head shake three times, it will recenter. That way you don't need to actually worry about display drifting. Now we actually want to see the screen. With that, we don't use test pattern anymore, but we use XDG, which will open up this sharing screen where you can select which source you want to you wanna share with the app. Uh, you don't want to share the virtual glasses because that's the stuff you will get feedback on that. Uh, you want to share the laptop screen. Currently, we will have a feedback because we are, we are running this display on the, wrong, on the wrong screen because I'm recording it. Uh, this one would be moved off to the second display and then it would show in your in your glasses but again you can see it's tracked uh, you probably also want to use not the flat plane to display but an actual kind of curved screen so you can say curved display you will have to add cursor mode 2 only use cursor mode 2 for now there is other options as well but cursor mode 2 is the only one that's actually really working So now we have a screen, a browser in our virtual screen, which we can work on. And that would be what you can see in your glasses. One thing you would also do is you would launch it with a full screen parameter because you want it to have to, to span the full screen and not just show the desktop environment. So you say full screen. And if you want to launch it on a specific screen, you have the option to set window X and window Y. By that you can first shift it to the monitor you want. Let's say this monitor is 1920. So we would, if we want to have it on the right screen, we would add 1920 so that it launches the, the viewer on the second screen and then puts it in the full screen. That way you don't actually need to do anything. You just connect it, launch this app, and it will show the virtual screen in your glasses. I can't show that because I actually can't show that. So for now, you can see nothing in there. It's just the empty desktop. Now we're going to launch it with an offset of 1920. So this means the screen, the app will be pushed on the right screen and then we'll make the full screen. Uh, the problem now is the screencasting selector is on the second screen. So I need to put on the glasses to actually select it. Selecting the laptop screen, trying not to disconnect the glasses. And now you can see we have our virtual screen in there so you can see the shell and the browser in the background and it's kind of sticking if we move the glasses, it's moving with the head movement. That's it, that's all you need. So just to recap, download the executable, install the UDF rules, trigger the reload for the UDF rules, and then use this command line to put the app on the second screen, which is your mature glasses, and that's it. You can now work on your glasses with a head track display, like a big monitor. Yeah, nothing more to say there. Thanks for listening.